Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. Google's Nexus range of devices has become iconic with a devoted following. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. In a departure from precedent, this year's Nexus range has two smartphones. The Nexus 5X and the Nexus 6P. The current Nexus device has always been used to show off the newest version of Android, and now Android Marshmallow comes preloaded on both new models. The Google Nexus 6P has been endowed with a host of powerful features like a superb configuration, a fantastic display, latest OS and a larger battery. Added abilities like USB Type-C and the inclusion of a fingerprint sensor as additional layer of security make the device even better. The incredible size of the phone is best suited for those who have been on the lookout for a phablet with superior qualities. The Huawei Google Nexus 6P is an absolutely stunning smartphone. Whether it's the design and build, display, camera, performance, software, or battery life, the Nexus 6P is absolutely fantastic in all of these. The Nexus 6P's only real flaws are the lack of expandable storage and wireless charging, and a price that may be perceived to be too high. However, if you're looking for the ultimate stock Android experience, look no further than the Nexus 6P design and display. The Google Nexus 6P has been crafted beautifully by Huawei. It has been endowed with an all-aluminium body with a glass bar up by its rear camera, which looks very upmarket and posh. It offers a large 5.7-inch AMOLED display which is protected by a layer of Corning Gorilla Glass 4 and sports a pixel resolution of 2560 by 1440 pixels that delivers a pixel density of 515 pi. Configuration and OS The Nexus 6P comes with a 2.0 GHz octa-core processor built on Snapdragon 810 chipset and has been given 3 GB of RAM for efficiency in multitasking. An Adreno 430 graphics engine makes watching movies and playing games on this QHD display more seamless. The Nexus 6P comes loaded with the latest version of Android, i.e. Marshmallow which provides utmost flex, flex mu M pixel sensor and f2.0 aperture to let in more light to help capture great pictures. Also, the Nexus 6P has a secondary camera, which is a whopping 8MP for selfie fanatics. The device has an internal storage of 32GB which cannot be further increased. The phone can also take 4K videos to capture and preserve your lively moments forever. Connectivity and battery On the connectivity end, the Nexus 6P offers 4G LTE support, 3G, single SIM slot, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AGPS, NFC and USB port, and USB Type-C slot. The device gains power from a 3450 mAh EPO battery. There's one more design element on the 6P to talk about. The fingerprint reader. Google calls it Nexus Imprint because the impetus for companies to brand all the things knows no bounds. But luckily, the scanner itself is designed to look subtle and restrained. It's just a simple recessed circle on the back of the phone. Well I will leave the link below the description. Google's decision to put it there instead of on the power button or a physical home key leads to some has a 6 p read my palm in my pocket and briefly vibrated to let me know that I had not, in fact, unlocked the phone. But all of those hassles pale in comparison to how well Nexus Imprint actually works. It's perfectly positioned for your index finger when you're holding the phone, and like Dan with the Nexus 5X, I've gotten used to just tapping it as I pull my phone out of my pocket. It's so fast it's uncanny, simultaneously unlocking and turning on the screen with a single tap. Training it is fast, too, it only takes about 5 or 6 taps to get it set up. Google says that it continues training itself as you use it, and I've yet to have anything, but the most glancing touch failed to unlock the 6P separating the fingerprint sensor from the power button on the side also makes sense, because you get two different functions. If you have notifications on your lock screen, you speaking of the power button, it has a new trick double tapping it launches the camera. From a powered off state, it's crazy convenient. From a powered on state, it's crazy annoying. That's because the first tap of the power button locks the screen, and so the camera launches in a locked mode. Well having be said, please use the links below the description. Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video.